From a tiny town in Mississippi, Sam Haskell began a journey that led to the top of the TV industry. He was the agent for Bill Cosby, Dolly Parton, Ray Romano, and a long list of stars. He became worldwide head of television for the powerful William Morris Agency. A couple of years ago, Sam gave credit for his enormous success to his mom in a best-selling memoir, Promises I Made My Mother. The book is now in its third printing, and all its proceeds go to charity. Sam, good to have you here with us this morning. Thanks, Chris. It's Hi, Erica. <laughs> TV Week named you one of the 25 most influential people people in television over the past quarter century. Is that you or is that because of mom? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd like to think it's the lessons that I learned from my mother yeah. as a little guy. Lessons that were so simple in their explanation, but ultimately so profound in their execution. And to be able to use her lessons in my business world was amazing. And, you know, when that list came out, I have to tell you, uh, I got the call from the publisher of TV yeah. Week, and I thought they were calling me because Leslie Moonves was on the list, and they might want me to give a quote. Yeah. And I said, I'm happy to give you a quote on the list. Did he make the list? He said, yes, he did, but so did you. <laughs> <laughs> what a great call. I know. So then did you call up Les and say, hey, Les, you need to give them a quote about me this time, me. <laughs> we have an understanding. We've been friends for 30 years, so we always say nice things yeah, about each other. Yeah, that's great. What, um, what, what are some of the promises that you made to your mother? Well, you know, when you're raising children, I think the major promise you have to get them to learn is respect mm -hmm. and honesty and character and integrity and my mother used to say character is what you are in the dark and as a little boy I didn't really understand that and I would lie awake at night wondering what that meant and about the middle of my teenage years I figured it out it was about what it meant to stand up and be responsible and she didn't have to tell me to study for my tests anymore and she didn't have to tell me what time football practice was anymore. I took responsibility mm -hmm. and I realized that that's what she was trying to teach me. What was it about this woman though that, I mean, it, it sounds as though she was very profound in her teachings with you. Uh, we, all you know need, <laughs> we all need someone who makes us feel special. Yeah. And there was not a day in my life that my mother did not say to me as I left the house, remember, you're special. And I think when kids are looking for something to hold on to, that that kind of self-esteem, when you have a parent or a coach or a teacher or a minister who makes you feel special, that's what carries you through. And that's what my mother did for me. And when I would walk around Amory, Mississippi with my TV guide in my hand saying, when I grow up, I'm going to go to Hollywood. I'm sure that everyone <laughs> in Amory, Mississippi said, bless his heart. Right. But my mother would say, you never know what this child might do. Yeah. You never know. And look at what that child did. Wow. So and you, you say, too, that some of these lessons from your mother, some of the promises you made to her through those lessons helped you be, and you touched on this, but, but elaborate if you would, real and consistent in Hollywood. That seems from the outside that it could be a very difficult thing to do. It is. Hollywood can make the most secure person feel insecure. And she used to say to me, if you can find a place to stand in the light and be consistent, people will be drawn to you because the inconsistent elements are those that drive you crazy. But if you can be the consistent element, they'll suddenly hover around you and become more consistent in your world. And I think that's what worked for me. I had this great upbringing in Mississippi, yeah. and I, I really credit that upbringing and my mother's lessons with teaching me how to be consistent for those who need it most, and that's why I worked. How, though, did, were you able to incorporate it with what you did? You worked at this powerful agency. You're representing all these powerful people and all of these egos and the money and all that, the trappings that come along with living in Hollywood. How were you able to stay so even-keeled and such a, by all accounts, just a guy's guy? Well. Being consistent is the beginning of that, but also finding understanding. And we may not like what we see and hear in the world around us, but if we can understand it, somehow we can get through it. And mm -hmm. I think that that's what I try to do, not only with my clients and network and studio executives, but with my family and friends. I always try to be understanding and find something to relate to that will get me through whatever the situation is, and that works. So you're done now with that world, for the most part. <laughs> for the most part. Do I, you miss I still, it? I miss it. I miss some of my friends. A lot of my clients still call me a lot. I, I was just on with uh, Ray Romano to tell him I was going to be on here today. And he wrote the forward he, he to the book. He wrote the forward yeah. to the book. He's one of my closest friends. And when I read that forward, I cried like a baby because it, it was him at his best yeah. and in trying to explain. But I'm, you know, I've optioned a book by a Mississippi author named Curtis Wilkie. 
called Fall the House of Zeus, and I'm going to try to turn that into a movie. We've just hired a writer to uh, start work on that, and I run the Miss America pageant. I'm about to head to uh, Las Vegas to, rough gig, to, produce, <laughs> to produce the 91st Miss 91st. America pageant. Oh How about that? So I'll be doing that in Las Vegas in a couple so of weeks. Can we expect a fourth printing? <laughs> I'd like to think you can. Yeah. You know, I've been all over the country, 140 cities with this book, and the response has been amazing, very humbling. Uh, I never could have dreamed that the response to my mother's lessons would have been so strong. Well, what a great legacy yeah. for her, too. Thanks Sam Haskell, thank thanks you for guys. coming in this Thank morning. you for having me.